So we all know GPU supply is awful, but just how bad is it? Can we put any actual numbers to it? And then like, who is supplying more cards, Nvidia or AMD? And I can't give you any complete numbers. I don't have a complete data set for you. But what I do have is one of the most useful things I've been able to find, which is over at Pro Shop. And I'm gonna be honest here, this is a European company. I'm American. I the, the site looks like it's in German here, but I think they're actually like Dutch or something like that. But the point is, in their location, they are one of the major computer supplier, uh, computer part supplying uh, stores out there. And what I like that they do is that they actually track some data for us on availability and how many cards are incoming, which cards and how many. Also, we can see how old their oldest customer orders are that have yet to be fulfilled. So we've got this for the NVIDIA cards as well as the AMD cards, and we do have it series by series. So we can also kind of compare what's where are more cards coming in the you know 3060s 3080s 3070s 3090s which one's getting more incoming cards anyway let's go ahead and take a look and see what sorts of conclusions we can draw i can shrink myself down out of the way all right so what do we see here the 3060s we can see some outstanding customer order dates. And by the way, if you're like, oh, shouldn't there be more outstanding customer orders? If you look up here, they're just not even taking more orders right now due to low availability. Uh, if you're on their list, you know, they, you can get on like a notify me list if they have extra stock, but for the most part, they freeze orders at a certain point. And so these are outstanding orders that have not been canceled yet that are still needing to be fulfilled. And we can see the order, oldest date. So we can see like, for example, if you wanted an RTX 3060 dual OC, they still have 51 outstanding customer orders for that. Going back to, and again, for us Americans, we gotta get used to the fact um, that this is <laughs> um, the uh, second month here, right? This is February 25th going back to that date. And currently they have no incoming stock. Okay, so that's how we read this. So what, what cards actually do have stock incoming? Looks like we've got some Strix OCs on the 3060 coming in um, with 50 cards incoming, and they've got dates going back to the 27th. Now, one thing that's interesting here is, now I don't have all the prices of every model here memorized, but I'm fairly certain that a Strix OC is one of the more expensive models that ASUS produces. Now this is confirming what I would have suspected, which is that you know AIB partners are going to spend their time and their limited GPU dies that they get producing their highest margin card, right? We, and that's what we're seeing where the cheaper cards, the ones that should be closer to MSRP, if you manage to get them not scalped secondhand, well, those just probably aren't being produced as much because why would you produce cards that are lower margin when you could produce cards that are higher margin? This seems to be confirming that with 50 of those incoming and zero incoming on the lower end models. Okay, um, so we've got uh, orders going back on the RTX 3060 Eagle going back to February. None incoming. Okay, we actually have 10 um, 3060 Ventus cards uh, the 2XOC models here, so 10 of those coming in, 75 outstanding orders, and these orders are going back to February. We've got orders going back to February for the uh, 3XOC, and outstanding with none incoming. And then they do have some incoming stock for the uh, Gaming X12G model, the Trio 12, Gaming X Trio, and um, the 3060 iChill X3 Red, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what are we getting at here? We're seeing that for some of these models, they do still have orders going all the way back to February. That's rough. All right, 3060 TIs. You can see here that we have much larger numbers of outstanding orders. And notice that there is no incoming cards. And notice that some of these orders are going all the way back to December of 2020. Yeah, half a year ago. Great. <laughs> um, anyway, so what can we read from this? Well, it looks like there's a high demand for 3060 TIs, 
but there's not a lot of supply. And that's because the 3060 Ti, I think is where, uh, you know, you actually have your best bang for the buck if you can get it at MSRP. It's only what, like 10% slower than a 3070 uh, for a hundred less dollars. Again, if MSRP has meant anything, but you know, incoming cards, zero. All right, the 3070 series. First of all, there actually are some incoming cards and I don't wanna spend forever on all of this, but you can again, take a look at outstanding orders. I'm interested in like how, how far back are our orders going? We got some going back to May, some going back to April. Uh, no incoming cards on those models. Uh, we've got uh, the 3070 Tufts, which if I remember correctly, are one of the ones closest to MSRP. Notice that we've got orders going all the way back to January. Yeah, not great, <laughs> okay, uh, with no incoming stock. So again, I, it's not only the highest model cards being produced that, that we're seeing incoming here, but it does seem to at least skew that direction. Like I said, that makes sense from a profit standpoint. Okay, so I don't wanna bog down here. You can see supply is incoming. Um, some models, the outstanding orders only go back a month or so, but we are still seeing some models going back all the way to December. Like here we go, but there, hey, a little bit of stock incoming on that one, so not completely hopeless. How's the 3080 series looking? Notice that once again, the Tough series, which I'm pretty sure is one of the closest models to MSRP, has a huge number of outstanding orders going all the way back to launch. 200 customer orders not delivered from launch. Yeah, all the way back to launch, none incoming, Huge numbers outstanding, 200 of them all the way back from launch. So clearly not producing a whole lot of the low margin cards and the higher margins uh, are where the production's happening. Again, we've got a lot of 2020 dates here, guys. A lot of 2020 dates. Not looking great on those 3080s. Now the Strix OCs, we've actually got some coming in with orders going all the way back to March. Okay, we've got the Eagle OCs, still not delivered from launch. Great. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I, again, I don't wanna get too bogged down here. We got some of these back from February, but it looks like we actually are getting some supply coming in. Interesting. Let's scroll on down to the 3090s and then compare this to how AMD is doing. So going down to the 3090s, we don't see a lot of supply coming in, but there is some. Which models are coming in? It uh, looks like we're seeing the Strix OC. Um, order not actually going back too far there uh, in May. Got some of these uh, back to May. Uh, we're still missing Eagle OCs from launch. And we've got some Supreme Xs from MSI uh, coming in. And hey, we got some uh, Inno 3D 3090i Chill Frostbites coming in. Let's compare this to AMD. So if we scroll back up here, we can check out the AMD 6000 series. Now, notice that this one isn't translating for some reason, but these are the same things. Uh, this is gonna be our uh, outstanding order date. These are the number of outstanding orders, and this will be how many are incoming. So, Notice that the 6700 XTs, we don't have a lot incoming. We also don't have a lot of orders outstanding, but you know they are limiting how many orders they're even taking for stuff due to supply. So we got 30 of those coming in. So I mean, I guess 67 XTs are being produced, but check a look at this. 6800s, there is not a single one with incoming stock. And we've got orders for some models going back to 2020. Uh, a lot of things back to February, March, March. Okay, 6800 XTs. Not a single model incoming. We've got orders going back to January, February, March. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> uh, that, I don't know. Uh, anyway, 2020 makes more sense. I'm wondering if that was a typo here. <laughs> anyway, so we got we got orders going back a long time. It looks like they put some 2021s on, on dates that, that probably should have been uh, 2020s here 
for those outstanding orders, but yeah, not a single thing incoming. How about the 6900 XTs? Not a single one incoming. 6900 XTs, ultimate version, not a single one incoming. So here's what I've got to say in my summary. AMD incoming supply, the only card with any incoming supply at all is the 6700 XT, and that's not a lot. And we've got a lot of customer back order dates back to January, February, March, even some back earlier than that on certain models. So once again, comparing that to the NVIDIA situation, which looked bleak, right? This situation does not look good for NVIDIA as well. But if we look up the incoming card numbers, okay, now granted the 3060 Ti's looks bad. 3060 Ti's looks bad. I mean, everything looks bad, but there were no 3060 Ti's incoming. But overall, there does appear to be more cards incoming from NVIDIA than there is from AMD. Now, again, this is one supplier. So I'm not gonna pretend like this is guaranteed to be the exact story everywhere in every country and, and every retailer, but it is indicative to what I kind of sense when you look online, which is NVIDIA does seem to be delivering more supply than AMD is. However, you know, the supply is still nowhere near meeting demand, as we all know. And as far as AMD goes, remember that AMD is supplying the GPUs from their RDNA 2 uh, process into the PS5 and the Xbox Series S and X. So since they're supplying those, I think a lot of their GPUs are probably going to that. They want to meet those, those contracts with Sony and Microsoft to get those supplies out there, which I think is severely limiting how many they can actually get out here as GPUs for, um, for us PC gamers to buy. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you today. What do you think about all this in the comment section? Am I misreading the data? Do you have other data available that we could take a look at? Let me know. I read all the comments, reply to as many as I can. And thank you, subscribers. You are beautiful people.